this debate, and then we're going up on this kind of stage. <laughs> we're operating in an environment where everybody can make their views known. And it can be a little nettlesome uh, because we're all, you know, human beings and we can take it personally. And these are the kinds of things where there is no perfect. Um, so you try and do the best you can. There are different approaches. It's the old black cat, white cat, makes no difference as long as they both catch mice. And uh, some people may disagree with the approaches. So now they can all get online and they can criticize, they can, they can say what they don't like, and that's fine, that's fair. Uh, but people should know that we do have a process. We have considered every angle in and out. And what they're seeing is the result of a very deliberative process on the part yes. of the debate commission to think about every possible angle and to look at all the conflicts that we're dealing with, one of which is sometimes candidates are very reluctant to participate in debates. So how do we convince them that we're going to have a safe harbor for a debate, that this will be a good event for them, that no side is going to be you know, favored, uh, that we're totally neutral, all those kinds of things. And uh, so I think we've come up with processes that work pretty well, uh, but we're still fine-tuning as we go, and we'll get better as, uh, as the years go on. Well, you know, the thing you hear complaints from voters about so, so much in campaigns is that everything gets reduced to a 30-second soundbite that is coming through commercial television by the way of these paid advertisements. And that's the thing that, uh, that, that I believe and uh, I think the Commission believes uh, a great service they can provide is we go beyond that. Uh, this is going to be an hour-long debate where the candidates get an opportunity to talk directly to the voters and answer directly the voters' questions. So uh, it's not going to be as likely that you can reduce it to a 30-second soundbite because what you say can be rebutted by the candidate next to you. So it's a, a, a lot more dynamic process and I do believe it actually uh, will uh, say a lot more about a candidate, uh, allow a candidate to reveal a little more about themselves uh, than what those advertisements can do. So I, play, I think it plays a huge role. And over the course of three debates, uh, it's, uh, you, you really can't hide. There's a lot that's going to, uh, to be discussed. There'll be a lot of opportunities to, for give and take. Uh, so I think it really does move uh, this uh, political campaign uh, to a new level.